Hello and welcome to chapter six of Transitioning, Changing Classes. This is a final chapter in our series. In the earlier chapters, we've covered the program, the background, timing and support, classes and opportunities of crewing. So my name's Duncan West. I'm the Regional Performance Manager for the South and Southwest, doing a similar job as Paul and Tim, who you've met on the earlier videos. Um, so what are we going to cover in this um, section? A quick recap on transitioning, changing class, um, key RIA events that you might need to consider, and also contacts for getting information um, further. So a recap. Um, it's really important to remember that the individual um, situation for each sailor is different. So it's important you speak to the right people and get advice that's suitable for yourself. And you have a choice of a class, and when you make that choice, it's really important um, to choose a class that you're really going to enjoy sailing and sailing the boat, and also that class gives you the opportunity for what you want to achieve in sailing. Right, moving on to the next section, um, events and profiling. These are the two things that you might want to consider, particularly if you're looking at gaining selection to the RAA youth squads in the future. So the youth nationals, um, the rearranged youth nationals, hopefully will be running those in the October half term. Um, the intention is to go up to um, Plasheli in North Wales at the beginning of the half, October half term, 24th, 27th of October and for the 420s, 29ers and the laser radial class. At the end of half term for the foiling classes, so that's the kite foiling, the new um, windsurf foiling classes, the NACRA 15 and also the laser standard, um, we'll be holding the youth nationals um, down at WPNSA in Portland. These hopefully provided we've had enough time on the water, will be used as the indicator events for selecting the youth squads for this coming winter's training. Looking further afield, the youth nationals in April 2021 are going to, first we're going down to Mount Batten Centre in Plymouth, um, and that hopefully will be a great event, and that looks to be the, a full week event over the Easter holidays. So physical profiling, this may be new for you. And um, this is a test um, where we use it for benchmarking your fitness and your physical well-being. And to gain entry to the youth, RAA youth squads, you do need to pass the benchmarks for the physical profiling. More information can be found on that online um, or again, speak to the relevant people, speak to your regional performance manager. We run one test a year. Um, that is going to be the weekend of the 13th, 14th of February, 2021. Um, they're run all around the country um, and also the home nations. And it's a free of charge event. But it's important that any sailors looking to gain entry into the um, youth squads for the 2021, um, they do need to attend that profiling. Right, the final part of this section is contacts, and we have them, <coughs> the English Regional Performance Managers. So we have Tim Hall, who's the Midlands Regional Performance Manager. We have myself, the Southwest Regional Performance Manager, Paul Wren who looks after London and the South East and the East of England, and then Chris Blackburn, who looks after the North of England. Then in the also overseeing um, the upper end of the programme, so in we have Chris Atherton, who's a National Performance Manager. We have Jack Grundy, who ma manages sailors who are in full-time education. And then we have Ollie Woodcock, who is the pathway head coach and looks after also our P24 programme. 
And finally, we have the performance managers in the home countries. So that's Sarah McGovern in Wales, Matt Tomby in Scotland, and James Farrell in Northern Ireland. So please do remember to pick up the phone, give us a call, and I'm sure this whole series will have raised some questions. So it's really important to find out the answers and hopefully we can give that to you. So I look forward to speaking to you in the future. Thank you, bye.